Well, everybody, it looks like we the people finally won against Twitch. It looks like they're giving us more money. At the expense of more ads. But I think it's okay. I think. We're going to go over it right now, okay? Uh, so, yeah. Hey, everybody. What's going on? My name is Terry. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys and gals are doing well. So, yeah, you know, I got this email earlier this morning from Twitch saying that they're making changes to their ads incentive program. It's new and improved. So I just figured we would just go over this blog post together and uh, just see what we think here, shall we? Uh, right here, say hi to ads incentive program, new and improved. So a few months ago, we introduced the ad manager tool and the ads incentive program, AIP. We wanted to make managing ads easier and to test a method of helping creators earn ad income more reliably. Always a good thing. After so much positive creator feedback, Okay, uh, we're going to make it even bigger. We're going even bigger. So what is the ads incentive program? Um, the premise of the ads incentive program or AIP is simple. Each month, a creator gets an offer. If they stream for a specific amount of hours in that month with a specific ad density, they'll receive a predetermined payout. So essentially, as long as you're running ads on your channel of some kind, you're essentially guaranteed pay based off those ads. So that part there is acting kind of cool. It does mean that you might see more ads than you would like on some creators channels. But I mean, hey, if it helps supports them and you don't got to pay a thing. So like no bits, no subs or whatever. It's just watching an ad every now and then that really shouldn't be a big deal in my opinion here. So uh, if they stream for a specific amount of hours in that month uh, with a specific identity, they'll receive a predetermined payout. Okay, let the ad manager handle the ads, and at the end of the month, you get paid. So what's the upgrade? The program helps creators earn a reliable income, so we're throwing the barn doors open and throwing the AIP barn party metaphorically. Here is what's changing access today we're opening up the program to more twitch partners than ever so if you're a partner fantastic increased pay rate traditionally we calculated creators earnings from an ads through a fixed cpm a flat rate of every thousand ad views on their channel to increase ad payouts and ensure we can pass price increases through to creators we're moving away from our fixed cpm structure to a percentage based revenue share model which, in my opinion, I think is actually a lot better. But hey, we'll have to see where this is going to go here. Uh, this new model pays creators 55% of the revenue for each ad that runs on their stream. As you will notice here, asterisks. This change represents a 50 to 150% ad pay rate increase for the vast majority of Twitch creators. Again, <gasps> double asterisks here so what about affiliates folks and i think for a vast majority of, uh, of you guys out there watching this video this year might be where you fall here don't worry affiliates we got good news coming in august 55 percent goes for you too it's not just aip users who get their higher rev share it's qualifying affiliates as well starting in, uh, in august just set ads manager to three minutes or more per hour that's it that's the end of the list. Do that, bam, you're qualified and you get 55% ad rev split onto your payout. So long pre-rolls. Affiliates who opt in for three minute per hours of ads get to stream free of pre-rolls and enjoy an increased ad payout. So that's actually kind of cool. I'm actually all for that part here, okay? So we wanted to make running ads in, uh, easier and more lucrative and we hope this upgrade get, gets us closer to that goal. Twitch partners can head over, over to their ads manager section of their dashboard and essentially here folks it just goes on to say here that this is totally optional that if you don't use this new way of doing it that you won't earn less money so that's okay as well too and if you're a partner go ahead and ask your uh partner manager for help and all that jazz here okay but um if you are a uh if you are an affiliate you can do the same thing by clicking here it'll take you to your creator dashboard it will automatically take you to your affiliate section to your ad manager and as you will see this is how it normally goes right here okay so to um to get the whole three minutes per hour you want to do ad spacing about 10 minutes apart and for the start delay i have mine set to about one minute and essentially just like it says right here is that this is how long ad manager will wait after the broadcast starts before uh, starting to run scheduled mid-roll ads which, which is fine because i would much rather have people have to sit through a mid-roll ad than a pre-roll ad like i can't tell you how annoying that is so hopefully 
with these new settings you know affiliates and partners now will of course be able to make a little bit more ad revenue with that higher uh, rev share which again I think is actually a good thing and if you sit through an ad here on Twitch you are literally helping your favorite creators out completely free you're just spending 30 seconds to a minute of your time watching an ad and that way there they get paid same thing for YouTube creators right like as a youtuber we get paid based off ads and a lot of people out there myself included we run an ad blocker you know for security safety and you know uh, stopping tracking and everything right but on YouTube I actually have my ad block turned off because I want to make sure that my favorite creators out there actually do get uh, their their rev share for their ads you know what I mean so you know that, that there's just you know to each their own you know what I mean so with all that here being said fam uh, I would love to know what you all think about this personally I think this is a good thing yes again you might see more ads ads on some people's channels but again it's literally not costing you a thing so i mean i think it's a win-win personally would i like to see them do something like this here but with you know some subscription share or other revenue splits yes in my opinion i think you know as far as bits goes and subscription goes i think that we should be making at least 70 percent of that but hey i digress that's a different video for a different day but uh yeah everybody what do y'all think sign off in the comments below and i will catch you guys and gals later okay happy streaming